praises unto Allah, the Lord of the world, the most gracious, the most merciful. Afterwards, the peace unto the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who is the last messenger of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Greetings from SSAR. Well, this worthless is known as Salman Siraj, an English teacher of MFS, stands for Manover Foundation School. I welcome all of my students, viewers, in my these online video classes teaching you English language and grammar. I hope you all will enjoy, learn, create and get new ideas and new learning and with new information in these online classes. So let's commence our these classes with the name of Allah. Thanks a lot. I welcome all of my students again in my another lesson as I discussed in my previous class that I'm going to discuss all my detailed tenses lectures in my another video. So let's start another topic today that is called present indefinite tense or you may call present simple tense. In our previous video I have discussed about the difference of present indefinite and present simple so let's come towards the topic i suggest you one more thing before going any topic or reading and going through any topic you need to understand the topic and the heading of the topic in a particular manner when you understand the meaning of that heading the topic automatically all right understands 50 person or 60 person to you so let's come towards its definition of present indefinite tense it tells us habitual action, natural action, and universal truth. In our previous class, we have discussed the net habitual action. Let me clear and revise it again. Habitual action. What is habitual action? The action you do since morning till night. You get up in the morning, all right, with your sad, hungry, or wavy faces, and afterwards. Since morning till night, you do a lot of work or some kind of good work, good deeds, stupidities. So, all of these things and all of these actions are called habitual action. In another manner, we can also call habitual action as repeated action. So, habitual action, I go to school, uh, uh, you go to school, you perform namas, you speak to, you obey your parents, you come to office anywhere you can talk about that so this is habitual action a second is natural action the natural action what is natural action the natural action we talk about who's doer a person who does an action is called doer but here is not any person but whose doer is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the God is all right implementing all these Actions so that is called natural actions. Like for example, it rains barish hoti hai, or the sun rises, suraj nikalta hai, the sun sets, suraj group hota hai. All these actions are called natural actions. So the third one is called universal truth. Universal truth are based on our universal things. For example, if we heat the water at the hundred centigrade. So it starts boiling. This is called universal truth. Let's come towards our examples and structure. Before going, for example, we take tea, we eat biryani, we eat pasta, a lot of things we eat. So to know and to eat in a delicious manner, if you want to make by yourself or if you want to cook something by yourself, you must know its ingredients and its formula. In the same manner, if you want to use a correct sentence or correct tense, you must know, you must go through the correct structure or the formula. Let's come towards its formula. That is S. S, S. What does S mean? S, I have written over here to make you understand. S stands for subject. Subject we have studied before, like for example, we say I, we, you, they, he, she, it, and one. So, this is called subject. You may use any of them according to the sentence and situation. 
another word that is called verb second uh, here the parts of speech is written verb where we know since morning till night you do any action all right the verb can be in present the verb can be in past but remember remember in present indefinite tense we use first form of verb first we can also call it the base form you can also call the present form okay so present form base form or we call the first form in the easy manner we call it the first form of verb all right so and afterwards object i'm not going to tell you right now the detailed definitions and examples of object over here because it is another topic all right and, and afterwards there is ep what is ep you might have studied your formula before in your classes in your school and colleges like subject plus verb plus object and the sentence full stop this the word can be new for you here ep what is ep well ep stands for extension of predicate but here uh, to understand in an easy manner you can understand extra part of a sentence so let's come towards it sentence so for i'm going to give you the different examples of habitual action natural action and universal truth the first example i have put over here that is called i have breakfast every day this is subject this is verb this is object and just to understand the easy method is called ep all right this is this is the first sentence and what do you think according to the definition what kind of sentence is this what what is it telling us what action is it telling us a natural action universal truth or habitual action so it is telling us habitual action habitual action we we repeat this action on a daily basis we take breakfast all right oh it depends on our mood and situation either we take early morning or the late morning or whenever we gather all right let's come towards the point so this is the first sentence i have breakfast every day all right have you got it good let's come towards the second sentence the second sentence is the sun rises from the east the sun rises from the east this is a second example of an action what kind of an action natural action habitual action or universal truth what do you say uh, i cannot hear you sorry so this is natural action yes it is natural action the sun rises why it is natural action because its doer is the god so let's come towards the third example today that is called the water boils at 100 centigrade definitely we have given the example of the habitual action the next action so what remains this is universal truth yes the water boils at 100 centigrade this is the third example of this action so i would like to ask you and to know you so this is i'm going to write it uh, to make it clear for you so this is what is this oh yes the sun rises from the east this is natural action the third one is the water boils at 100 centigrade this is universal truth i'm going to write in a shorter manner to make you understand okay so i hope you get it so universal truth beauty it is it is not good to write but just to make you understand in an easy manner i'm telling you all right it is informal you should not use it while writing your or attempting your exams so come towards the point my brother speaks in english this is an example for you but i hope you will tell me in the comments or in the messages about that so let's come towards my brother speaks english i'm not going to tell you what kind of sentence is this you want me to tell me all right you can also give the comment all right it might be easier for you or but 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 you can give me more examples all right so let's come towards it so this is called present indefinite tense not it is not completed yet okay so present indefinite tense declarative sentence declarative sentence 
so in another video i have given the complete lecture of the sentences what the sentences and how many kinds and types of sentence are there so you can go through that one video you can watch that one video to understand what sentence is so right now the declarative sentence it tells us describes us what we do all right in a positive manner this is called declarative sentence so you have given i've been i have given you examples of that and you have been given all of these examples i hope you have understood this topic clearly for the further more information you need to watch another video thanks a lot thank you for being with mfs take care bye bye subscribe us thank you very much bye bye